The moment we've all been waiting on the first injury report to come out for the Detroit Lions, and here it is. The Detroit Lions announced roster moves today, hump day, right in the middle of the week. Place tight end Brock Wright on injured reserve, so Brock Wright is done. So now the Lions have to win a Super Bowl for Brock Wright. Sign defensive lineman Tyson Alualu to the active roster from the practice squad and signed tight end Zach Ertz to the practice squad. Now, if you remember, Tyson Alualu had his third and final elevation this past week against the, I want to say it was the third and final against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'm not sure if it resets for the playoffs, but Tyson Alualu is on the active roster and who took his spot was Zach Ertz. Ertz. Now, Zach Ertz can be elevated as a game day elevation on game day. So that is pretty good with that. Now, a little bit on the 49ers end, because this is such a big game, I'm going to go ahead and throw this in here. From Adam Schefter says, 49ers wide receiver Debo Samuel will not play today. I'm sorry, practice today. And his status for Sunday's NFC Championship game remains uncertain. And that was per Kyle Shanahan. Now, I think Debo is going to play because why would he not? This is the end of the road for from that, you know, for the season. This is it. So if, if there's and Debo having not won a Super Bowl with the 49ers, you've been there once, lost. There's no way, in my opinion, that he's not going to play. However, he might want to play, but he won't be clear to play. According to reports that I saw earlier this week, Debo Samuel suffered a similar in injury, if not the same injury, earlier this season, and he was out for two games. So this might be bigger than it leads on. That's one thing about, you know, the funny thing about Debo is Debo said he didn't want to be a, a running back when he wanted his big extension a few years ago. Uh he was going into his final, the final year of his contract because he was drafted in 2019 along with DK Metcalf, and he was going into that the the last year, and he won an extension. And he said he was tired of being used like a running back, but yet he's still being used like a running back. And I want to say he got hurt from from a running play, but as equally important to what we saw from the 49ers, let's check out the Detroit Lions. This is their injury report now we looked at the roster moves but this is the injury report uh, Jonah Jackson we know that he is out he's going to be out it's already been Sam Laporta did not practice Frank Ragnow all of this stuff look it's so much stuff jumbled up here well I wonder if I hold on let me see I got this at let me see if I oh nope it's still jumbled up still jumbled up let me see if I go to 100 nope still jumbled up I usually keep this on 175 a uh, 150 175 uh, Khalif Raymond, need no practice. Alex Anzalone, limited practice. Josh Reynolds, limited practice. And full practice, James Houston. So Josh, limited with the ribs. James, I think that he is going to play. I really, really do, but I've been wrong before. So keep an eye on, we know this guy, Jonah Jackson, is not going to play. His game status is going to be out. That'll be updated on Friday. We'll see that on Friday. He'll be out. Sam Laporta is going to go. Frank's going to go. Khalif is the one to keep an eye on. Alex is going to go. Joss is going to go. James Houston and Khalif Raymond. Basically the same two people that were in the same situation last week. So I think both, if I had to take a guess, I am going to say that both James Houston and Josh Reynolds are both going to go. They're both going to go because this is it. This is it. But Jonah Jackson not playing is is going to be a, a potentially huge blow. I know Dan Campbell has spoken very highly of the guys that can fill in for him, but I think that's a bigger deal than he may be leading on, especially from that defensive defensive front we're going to have to deal with. But we're going to keep an eye on Debo Samuel. Debo Samuel, that's going to be one to keep an eye on and expect Zach Ertz to be elevated a game day elevation. So that is the information coming out of the the Detroit Lions. Now, I'm going to say this. For the longest amount of time, I have not wanted to push Cash App. I really want it. I, I didn't want to. I, I just didn't really like it. You know, uh, YouTube has means in place for you guys to support memberships 
Um, I can put the whole buy me a coffee thing. I can start a Patreon. I didn't do any of that stuff. I, I am going to launch memberships soon as the season is over. When the season is over, then I'll do it there. But I am going to now, since I've already done it, I'm going to put Cash App in the description. It's going to be in the description. I just, I think YouTube has great things in place for you to show support. And to me, Cash App is just like, uh, but I'm like, well, Derek, you've already done it. And I've had people ask me like, what's your Cash App? You know, uh, and I've never done it. I've never done it. But that's how important uh, it was for me to get to this game. And some of you might refer to it as begging. And if I came across like that, then I, I mean, I felt like I was. I felt like I was like like I was begging. But I thought about it. I said, listen, a lot of people say, Derek, they lift through you. They experience this through you. So the the least you can do is ask and see what happens. Right. But I want to let you guys know that without you, the people that donate it and in any way. I would not be going. I would not be going. I'm actually going to stay at an Airbnb with other guests. That's how bad this is because I, I'm going to be within walking distance of the stadium. It's it's a half a mile walk. If that, I don't have to pay for parking and Uber. So I'm staying in a house that has other guests in it. That's how that's how bad I want to be here. And that's how much your donations meant to me because I, I really could not afford to go otherwise. I had already went to Minnesota. I had already gone to all these other games and the playoff run. And this, if I had to pick one game, I mean, every other game had a meaning to it. You know what I mean? Like, I had to be in Minnesota because it was a chance for us to win the NFC North for the first time ever. Check, right? I had to be at our first playoff game. Broke a, a, rec, a decibel record. Check. Went to the second one. And without the hookup, from a season ticket holder, I wouldn't have, I didn't get the ticket for free, but without uh, the hookup, I wouldn't have been able to be there. So thank you to everyone who's offered me a ticket. Thank you for everyone that's donated. And I will never, ever forget this real talk. And I'm going to try to be, do the best I can to bring you the best experience possible. So thank you again. My cash app will be in the description of every video. I figure, well, you've done it now. You might as well. Cause some people just don't like to, to deal with YouTube for whatever reason or whatever. So it'll be in there just just because, I guess, right? So, but memberships will be launching at the end of the season. I just, I, I'm too busy to really think about perks and things like that and, and design all this stuff. So anyway, the latter half of this video was something unrelated, but I feel like because I'm, I'm going on this journey, by extension, you are as well. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. It's almost time. It's almost time, man. Your Detroit Lions are one game away from going to the Super Bowl. And I'll just say this. These guys are going to get it, give it everything they have. They're going to play with all they have. And for Brock Wright, who was injured, got well, got injured again, helped us win. He helped us win. He did the, the famous play where, that, that he scored a touchdown on against the Jets last year. Brock Wright is great at this play. And now the Lions got to get it done. We have to get it done, man. For all the all the all the guys that's come and got hurt and are now sitting on injury reserve, we got to finish the job for them. So thank you again. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And don't forget to subscribe to the new channel. It will be the pinned comment, Rocked On Syndicate Sports. We're going to be going live on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tomorrow we got a special hour and a half show, and it's going to be a good one. So tune in to that. You guys are awesome, man. I appreciate you and thank you.